by the regions from Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. If you are interested in wasps, in bumblebees, in honeybees, that's a video for you. If you are afraid of bees, if you are afraid of wasps or afraid of honeybees, this is a video also for you. Because today I would like to tell, tell you about sto the story about wasps. By the way, I'm sitting here in this jar. My name is Viktor Fursov. I am a research scientist and I am an entomologist working at the Institute of Zoology of National Academy of Sciences in Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine. And I collected these two specimens of scalied wasps when I was walking to my job in morning time. And I'm very pleased to show you them. And actually, these are two wasps of a family Scoliide, Scoliide wasps. And why they I collect? They were flying just here in city, in urban area. Wow. Well, they're flying especially in the beginning of May or end of May, like now, because today the May 29th, 2015, as I said. And I collected them just in very specific place, just around cut a tree near the ground. And actually all these wasps were flying very actively around, especially they are flying when it's sunshine. When it became raining, they just escaped. And what we were doing near the ground, near cut a tree? This is a miracle and this is secret of these wasps. Now they are a little bit tired, not so active, but still trying to escape and trying to fly just to the window because it's sunshine, evening sunshine. And by the way, these are two different species of wasps. Scolia maculata, just gi giant scolate wasp, and Scolia hirta, just haired scolia. And by the way, I'll tell you a story how they're developing and where they're living. By the way, they're really living under the ground. Why? Because when we are flying just near cut a tree or just already a rotted tree, a rotted roots of trees, they are searching for larvae of their host. And who's the host? The host actually, this is a rhinoceros beetle. Yes, the larvae of a rhinoceros beetle or other beetles of a family Scarabeidae like Melalonta or uh, Polyphila fulva. Yes, these different species can be attacked and parasitized by this female wasp. And by the way, what is, how the female is doing it? Female is searching for larvae of the rhinoceros beetles and they are just digging at the ground, going underground, finding rhinoceros larvae and attack it, parasita, paralyze it initially and then laying eggs or just only one egg, sorry, on one larva of rhinoceros beetle. And what uh, what's going on, on later? Well, later, parasita, paralyzed larva is still alive, alive. Paralyzed larva of rhinoceros beetle alive and still will be growing, eating food and the larva of scolia will be developing on I will put it here will be developing on larva on larva of rhinoceros beetle well these are two different species and they are different they have nice shiny black blue wings hairy thorax hairy abdomen abdomen with yellow spots and these are two species And by the way, and this is species Scolia maculata and this Scolia hirta. Actually, Scolia maculata is written as a a, a species under the danger, it's just disappearing species, and it's included in a red, a red book of uh, Russia and in a red book of Ukraine. And Scolia hirta is more common, but they're all developing on larvae of Scarabidae beetle beetles. So probably I will not keep this Scolia maculata and release it and give it freedom for this nice wasp. And you can recognize they are very active 
Actually, they are not so dangerous like other wasps, like social wasp of the speedy family, because they are solitary, solitary wasps, and they are feeding one by one, and they are searching for their host one by one, and actually they never attack you if you will see them, because they are not social, they are only searching for the host under the ground, as I told you about rhinoceros beetle or scarabidae beetles. And by the way, but of course, if you touch the wasp and press the abdomen, so definitely the wasp will sting you, and it will be heavy sting, because the size of this wasp you can recognize pretty big one. So be careful about wasps, try to avoid them, and try to not collect them, at least if you collect this nice, not social wasp, but solitary wasps, wasp, Scoliidae, Scolia maculata or Scolia hirta, just try to release them. They are so beautiful, they are so nice. They will go to some flowers by searching here just for honey. I put here a little bit honey. So, yes, yes, one, one la lady found the drop of honey and just eating it. And the another one is trying to find just the water here. I put a piece of water. Yeah just for their food, yes, eating the water. So, that's very nice, very nice wasps. And if you like them, I will show you more how they are flying in the nature, and I will show you some video about how they look like, just in a close distance. So, see it under, after this video. And if you like the video, press like, subscribe to my channel, and follow my channel, and I will tell you more stories about interesting insects like this funny and very nice Scolide wasp Scolia maculata, Scolia hirta and see you soon on my channel good luck yes, my nice pets so we are very busy now with the honey before we were trying to escape fly away and now became busy with honey so, so you can recognize the wasp is it going to be my pet, but still escaping? Okay, see you soon on my channel. Good luck.